me cuz bitch I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve my run Welcome back everybody. I can assure you that when I woke up this morning I had no intentions of making this video, but throughout the day things have kind of gotten crazy. Um so again, woke up today. Normal day. Check the internet, Instagram, Facebook, etc. in this video of a couple in um St. Louis. The man having an A2 like this, and the woman having some sort of pistol, um, ostensibly uh, protecting their house from some protesters or rioters, depending on how you look at it, who had broken into a gated community to uh, go to the mayor's house, a private property gated community. So um, <laughs> there's some questionable gun handling, which we'll get to here in just a second in the video. Um, and I noticed again, the guy had an A2, I have an A2, I have a pink shirt, I have khakis. So I decided to dress up like him, put out a video, and uh, I'll roll that video in the end. I'm not taking it down, which we'll get to here in just a second. And uh, I don't think it was a bad idea or anything like that, but I put it up because I thought it would be funny. Because when I watched the video, I was like, well, this is just kind of funny, right? Like it's, there's a lot of ways you can take any scenario. Um, and this one, you know, generally speaking, I didn't think there was any issues with it. Again, we'll touch on the details here in a second. I thought it would be a good time to be funny. Like, why can't we be funny anymore? But apparently uh, we can't be because there's a lot of people out there who were on my Facebook, Instagram, etc., pages, Twitter, and saying that I don't truly support the Second Amendment, um, that I've turned my back on the community uh, because of this video, all of these sorts of things. And I was just like, where are these people coming from? And anyway, it's continued uh, throughout the day. And uh, so that's really what we're going to address here today. So let's get into it. Let's break this thing down. As I indicated earlier in the video, for folks who haven't seen it, and again, the video will be at the end of this video. I'm going to roll it in. Um, approximately 300 people, according to news reports, broke into a private gated community and were intent on marching to the mayor's house. Well, um, in the process, uh, I don't know if any of the protesters or marchers were on this man's actual property, man and woman's property. However, um, several news reports have said that they were. So I guess we'll go with that. Um, it does matter really in the story, in my opinion. Um, if somebody's marching, kind of how you act out on a public street is different than if they're on your lawn, right? It's just, those are two different things, uh, both legally and situationally, right? So um, that's my understanding of it. If you look at the recent events, anybody who watches the news, um, you guys will know that uh, groups of people um, have, you know, quickly gone from protesting to rioting to from peacefulness to violence. So being prepared for that change of behavior is wise. I don't really see any issue with that, right? Um, some people have said that just them being outside um, was provocative. I, I would say that I don't really think that's true. Now, of course, you absolutely could, you know, keep watch from inside with your weapons ready, etc. That's that's an option, right? But going outside with weapons visible uh, definitely is somewhat of a show of force, let's say, right? And there's escalations on that force spectrum, right, for where you can be. Um, and so uh, we'll address, I guess, the gentleman first. Um, basically, if anybody got trained on how to use a firearm in the 80s or early 90s, the way he's holding that rifle, which is essentially like this with his finger down extended past the trigger guard, trust me, this is how people were trained to, to hold rifles back then um, with this sort of angle. Um, so with that, um, some people were saying he's pointing his gun at protesters. Um, I don't think he was intentionally doing so, uh, not from what I've seen. Uh, he probably was, he probably was flagging them, but again, that's because back then, people held guns like this. Watched lots of movies, lots of uh, shooting footage from you know early gun competitions. Trust me, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Whereas now we have the low ready or high, you know, high port, whatever you want to call it, different positions that are safer um, for most people who are moving, right? That's something we all know, but the reality is the way that uh, homeowner was acting is the man was not in my opinion problematic in any way I don't again I don't think he was meaning to point his weapon at anyone I don't think from everything I've seen anyway that's not my perception of it um, however uh, the woman in question um, was um, holding a pistol and multiple times you can see that her fingers clearly on the trigger and multiple times she's uh, seen pointing it a hundred percent at some of the protesters. Um, at one point, uh, it's several videos of this incident floating around, you can see she actually walks towards them um, rather than sort of standing back. 
uh, where her husband was. I would strongly advise against that. Uh, all of the behavior really that she was um, uh, acting out with. Um, in some states, when you do what she did, it can be considered brandishing. I have no idea on Missouri laws and could actually be a crime, especially when you start walking towards people. Um, so, you know, a lot of people online, particularly people who are like in the gun community, influencer, etc., cetera, trainers, um, were sort of mocking their gun handling skills. But listen, guys, here's the deal. Yes, they could be better, right? I, we'll, and we'll touch on this again a little bit later on in the video. But as a general principle, their right to defend their homes with firearms, um, I absolutely support that. Uh, they're in a private community from everything I understand. If people break in there and go through walked gates, yeah, 100%. Having guns out and having guns ready uh, to defend that community, I'm uh, I absolutely 100, 100, 100% support that without question. Additionally, for all, everybody who's making memes, t-shirts, etc., about this couple, I appreciate that too and support that too, right? Like, the world is crazy right now. It's freaking nuts. Like, what's happening now is, I mean, I don't want to say it's unlike any time in history because it's not true, but it's, it parallels crazy times in history for sure. And laughing is okay. Like, me making a video dressed up like the guy, that's okay. Like, people putting out epic memes that make people laugh, that's okay and that's good. Like, we all need to laugh sometimes. So I support the basic intention, again, of these people to support, to defend their homes from a potentially violent group of people, 100%, absolutely. Yes, could they improve their handling skills? Absolutely. Um, but the reality is what you saw with these people and how they handle their weapons is indicative of the vast, vast majority of gun owners out there. You know, I go to public events a lot and I watch a lot of people shoot and just think those are the people who come out to public events. Right, and then I used to teach you guys. Many of you guys who watch this, I used to teach basic level classes, and what I saw these people doing is 100% indicative of most gun owners. Right, so mocking them, um, depending on how you do it. Again, everything is, has has a range of taste to it. But mocking them is is, I mean, you're mocking a lot of people. Cause trust me, a lot of people who don't watch videos on Instagram, don't watch videos on YouTube, have never watched any of my videos, own guns, and they've used them successfully to defend themselves and their homes uh, and their families um, with weapon handling skills just like you saw. So uh, it's not that, you know, people have been saying, oh, they need better training to own guns like that. Like the BS, everyone should be able to own guns. And yes, should they get better training? Do I encourage them to do so? 100%, absolutely. But mocking them is not saying that they you know, you see what I'm saying? Like there's a line here, right? And it's not, it's not like black and white, if that makes sense. Um, and then uh, to the training event, uh, training uh, portion of that, uh, several people have come out and offered them training. Like I know I saw Tony, Tony Cowden uh, Instagram put out that free training for them um, at his, you know, classes. So I think that's kind of the way to do it. Like it's okay to laugh, but it's also okay to like, encourage them to be better, encourage all gun owners to be better and better armed, uh, better prepared rather, better skilled, should these sorts of uh, situations confront themselves. So again, I didn't think I was gonna have to do a video explaining all this, but I've had so many people writing crazy things, like I got several death threats this afternoon. Uh, guys, context is key, like emotional reactions, sometimes we need to think about it a little bit. That's all I gotta say about that, so. And comedy is also okay. And better training is also good. That's it. We're going to end the video there, guys. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see all of you in the next video. property. Get out of here. Get out. Private property. Karen, take your finger off the trigger.